Kumanani means caring together in Tsonga. And the Kumanani Healthcare Centre's motto is be the change you want to see around you. The Kumanani Healthcare Centre was established in 2002 and provides poverty alleviation, support to orphans and vulnerable children, food security and health management programs, as well as various support groups for drug addiction and domestic violence. Chris Gabriel was established at the centre by one of our partners in the Toronto office in memory of his daughter who he tragically lost in a car accident while living in Johannesburg. The Komanani Healthcare Centre and Crash Gabriel is located in Flakfontein, an informal settlement in the south of Johannesburg, South Africa. The informal settlement has a population of approximately 5,500 people and 600 households, with an average unemployment rate of 80%. In line with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals of no poverty, zero hunger and quality education, we have developed a two to three year plan for the centre. Our two main projects are the Vegetable Garden and an Eating and Learning Centre for the community's children and youth. Currently, the children have no sheltered environment to sit, eat and do homework, which becomes a problem under difficult weather conditions. The children who come for homework supervision currently work in the social workers' offices. However, there are not enough desks and chairs. The establishment of the food garden is to support the centre's existing feeding scheme. They have a food bank support for 250 meals, but feed 600 kids two meals a day. Rather than having to halve the food portions for the children, we want them to be able to supplement the meals with fresh vegetables from the garden to ensure they are getting the nutrition they need to grow and learn. Gabriel was with us in 2005 to 2008 in South Africa, and we shared a lot of time with the Komanani community there with uh, highly disadvantaged children, and we love that community, unfortunately. Uh, Gabriel passed away in 2008 and uh, after her name we decided to create a legacy for those children so that they could have education and have a safe place where to uh, grow. And that's how we created the Crash Gabriel back in 2008. Started with 20 to 30 toddlers and then very quickly to 50 and then engagement with the French community after that. And now what the CR team in Torrent Hansen in Johannesburg is doing is absolutely awesome. We really like to thank a Tenant Thompson team with the youth program that they came up with. The children received their school uniforms, they are nice and clean. Now they are happy to go to school. All those programs, nobody out of one single person can do that on their own. To make a feast, you need all the fingers so that it can be a feast. Then the punch will be the greatest. They have taught us a lot of things that we weren't even aware of. The importance of the soil, the importance of the garden, the importance of eating from the green. We never actually thought that's important because all we care about was eating meat, 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 meat. And I just want to say hala hala to Ten and Tamsin. I'm incredibly proud of the work that we've been doing here, mostly because we've achieved so much in such a short space of time. The reason that I care so much to be part of this initiative and be part of CSR is because I really want to be able to make a difference in someone else, or rather as a group, make a difference in, in other people's lives. The Komanani Healthcare Centre and Tuna and Townsend embody our purpose, value and vision of Stronger Together. <laughs>